Hello, welcome to another assembly tutorial. The metal origami animals that you're looking at originated from assembly. All the ideation and exploration were done in the mobile app and then the vector shapes were simply exported into cinema and then extruded like this. Today we'll be creating vector designs ready to edit in Cinema 4D and see how these simple shapes were made. Open up assembly and select a triangle from the basic shapes drawer. This is the only type of shape we'll be using. Around the bounding box, you'll see a pencil icon. Tap on the icon and we'll go into point editing mode. Tap on each of the points to change the shape of our triangle. With a magnet tool on the top turned on, you'll feel the points lock into position. Now, tap on the duplicate icon on the right, and then just above that, tap on the flip icon. We can now rotate this shape around and align it with the 45 degree angle of the other triangle. Let's quickly tap on the color dropper at the bottom right and select a different shade from our color palette. Now, all you have to do is repeat this process one triangle at a time to create your origami animals. My recommendation would be to keep this type of creative as simple as possible. Once you have the shape and people know what it is, stop. Remember, this art isn't the final outcome. You will be adding more complexity in Cinema 4D once you have exported your vector art and extruded your shapes. With both the dog, fish and the bird all created in the same way, the only exception is our butterfly. This is slightly more complex and also involves symmetry. Build just one side up, top to bottom, and then all you need to do is select all, group, duplicate this and flip to the other side. And then you're done. To export these shapes, head over to your export settings and select SVG. Export this to your computer. I would recommend opening it up in Illustrator and converting it to an Illustrator 3 file. Now your vector shape is ready for cinema. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. See you again next time.